Hey guys, it's Ethan from Espresso Displays and today we're going to be walking through how to set up your Espresso Display with a Windows computer. To connect your Espresso Display to a Windows computer or laptop, you'll either need one USB-C to USB-C cable or one USB-A to USB-C cable and a HDMI to mini HDMI cable. For most newer laptops, you'll just need to plug in the USB-C cable into the USB-C port on your laptop or computer. And then the other end of the USB-C cable to the middle USB-C port on your Espresso display. If your laptop doesn't have a USB-C port, you'll need to plug in the HDMI into the HDMI port of your laptop or computer. And also plug in the USB-A cable into the USB-A port on your laptop or computer and then plug the USB-C end into the middle USB-C port on your Espresso display and the mini HDMI into the mini HDMI port at the bottom of your Espresso display. So now that your Espresso display is connected to your Windows laptop, we need to search for settings. And inside settings, search for display settings. Straight away you're going to see a section where you can configure the arrangement of your two displays. To configure this you'll need to click on one of your displays and drag it across to where you want it to be. After doing that you just need to click apply. Now some of these settings are configurable but if you want to leave them on the default values that are recommended in the software that's okay as well. In display orientation, you can choose landscape or portrait mode. Portrait might be helpful if you're doing something like coding or writing an essay. Under multiple displays, you can either duplicate the displays or extend the displays. If you select duplicate these displays, they'll be doing the exact same thing. But if you select extend these displays, you'll be able to get the most use out of your secondary monitor. Now for some more advanced calibration, you need to click on Advanced Display Settings. In this top section, you'll need to select which display you want to calibrate. After selecting the display that you want to calibrate, click on Display Adapter Properties. A new window will pop up here, and this is where the more advanced calibration begins. First, you'll need to click on Color Management and then click on color management again. Then you'll need to click on advanced and then calibrate display. This is where you can calibrate the display to make it exactly how you want it. So you just need to click next and next again. Here you'll need to calibrate the gamma and that's basically just the relationship between red, green and blue colors. So we'll just click next and you'll see this slider on the left hand side and you can move along this slider until it's calibrated to the way that you want it to be. So now we can press next again and here we're going to see some brightness calibration. Here you'll need to adjust the brightness using the buttons on your espresso displays until the image is correct as seen here. So just click next and use the buttons on your espresso display to change the brightness until the X here is right. To change the brightness you'll just need a long press on the buttons on your espresso display. Now this is the contrast adjustment settings. With an espresso display you don't need to bother with these settings. So just click next and next again. This is where we can adjust the colour balance of our display. And here you'll see three sliders that'll let you configure the color balance. And in this section, you'll be able to compare your old calibration with your new calibration. Now this new menu is gonna pop up called Clear Type Text Tuner. This is where you can configure how text is displayed on your Espresso display. 
Here you need to select whether you want to tune either both of your displays or just one that you select. Now it's going to give you a few examples of some different types of text. So you'll just need to select which one looks best to you and do this five times. And now you've finished tuning the text on your monitor. So thanks for watching this walkthrough from Espresso Displays. If you have any questions, you can head over to the Espresso Displays website.